I always wish them my love. God love them both dearly. Bless their hearts. So that's my dear mum and dad. You can take a picture like that, Kev, because I will love, I love putting my hand. There we are. And my dear mum and dad. That's lovely. I'm going to be here somewhere, but I, I don't know the spot where. As long as I'm facing up there, Kev, the farm I've been brought up with and lived that all my life, what more do I want? That's he likes to see a Belgian blue. You know, they have to rename it now, wouldn't they? It is, it's the British. Oh, and yeah. We have Brexit blue. Oh, it, what it's, else? He's not an EU one. Oh dear Kef, getting on. If I had a, a bank full of money and I could retire and hadn't had to worry anymore, well, perhaps I could enjoy life from now on, but I haven't. And um, and therefore, just pottering on, having a bit of money coming in just to keep it all going, to, 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 to keep a business running. Um, but definitely, I mean, I hate getting on. It's lifting to me. I can't live, I couldn't lift that car this morning. Well, I could have done, but it wouldn't have done me any favour, so I'll put that way. And that's the sort of things which I, you know, I know I can't do now. Where before, when you were younger, oh, I can't do that today, and I must do that today, and I must do that today, and I must do that today. Now, if I don't get there, it will wait till tomorrow. It just makes you so damn depressed, doesn't it? Wet weather, the grass does not do no goodness to it. This is where people don't take into account how things can alter in this game. You know, because it's like this, the milk drops, and the crops can be not quite so good, the quality crops are good. The actual getting on with the, what the seasonal thing is of haymaking and all that, you know, it's not doing it. And as I say, those cattle down the watermelon this morning, they look quite thin. You know, I've got to go and move them, but you can go and get a dry summer and um, the cattle look a hundred times better, though there's no grub out in the field. A disaster at the moment. Well, you know, I'm, I'm saving myself a milking, I'm saving myself electric, you know, and I'm doing it all myself. I couldn't afford to pay anybody. No. Waste of time. No, money has that. No, dead lot. If that one come out of the EU, the other one. Hey? If that one come out of the EU, wouldn't it? No, who or what are we? No, I'm an inner. If you think the British government are <laughs> going to worry about the British farmer, you are completely <laughs> wrong. They won't care a shit about us. 
because remember we lost the Minister of Agriculture years ago. Yeah, yeah. We went to fisheries and foods, hasn't it? That's yeah. where it's begun to. And so actually I wonder it's all at you people who say leave, but nobody knows what that's going to be yet. No, I know. No. Oh, no. And no. someone spoke on there this morning, no. and I was such a believer of it. I'm sorry, I'm such a believer of it. They said, World War One, World War Two, and you think of Churchill as well. What would he say now if he knew oh, you were going to yeah. vote leave? He would want to bring Europe together. Yeah, and that was his thing. And he said, That's if it. you're going to start doing parting us all up again, I can see ourselves all bloody well going apart, going our separate way. And he said this bloke said this morning he said everybody will be having wars with one another if you're not careful and it is Europe the reason we brought Europe together is to stop this ever and it's never happened though those, things are changed yeah it was that. changing I'm not disputing yeah. that I'm not yeah. saying that but I still think we're better in the than devil now. you know yeah. that's what I'm saying like the uh, only thing I wor worry about half the time and someone said it and I've said it so many <laughs> times and Kevin's seen it put it on that bloody thing so many times <laughs> What are we all going to feel on the 24th? <laughs> I suppose at the moment I'm just a little bit frightened to give everything up. I haven't actually got a wife where I said to a lot of people, there's, when there's two of you, you there's, it is a big difference. I've been going on holiday on my own now for 26 years. I drive down to my people down in Devon. I'll go down on the coast sometimes and I'll just look over the sea and no one else is there. It's just me looking over at the sea. And a lot of people don't know that. You don't see all that with some people who are loners. Having someone in your life, I'm sure it is a, it's got to be right that, you know, especially in later in life, have two of you just to help one another. It's got to be right. But, yeah, you know, and I'm on holiday, I'm going to go around with John and Joyce all the time, but there's many a time I say to John and Joyce, I'm going to pop down to the coast for an hour. I'm only going down there on my own. Well, would you like to do that perhaps? Just sit there on the beach and have no one around you and you're just, no one else is back here and you think of things and everything and everybody's walking past you with a couple and holding hands and old people walking together and everything and you're just leaning looking over at the sea. It does affect you sometimes, you know. God, these things happen so quick though, Kevin. I've never known anything. Went down just like a piece of shit. Oh dear, I've got a bit. My arms are all right. That's good, isn't it? It's just your legs, isn't it? Got one and yet another. So where were you when you fell over? In the cubicle house. Oh, in the cubicle house there. That's where she dropped her after birth. Look, mm -hmm. when you get the calf, just I said, Jackie, before you go off again, we get her in. Well, like an idiot. Instead of walking beside it, I must have put my foot on it. Of course, the bloody stuff slipped, and I'm trying to stop myself like this. No, I couldn't, I went straight back down my bloody face. It hurts a bit at the moment, Kevin. Well, I'm going to go and wash down for a bit of this again. Does it ever give up, Kev? You've had some ideas in the morning, haven't you?
went out to get my cows in this morning and I had a, and I had a dead cow. Never had that happen before, you know, there's always been something wrong with it or, you know, got a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But not actually a cow is let out in the field dead. And only I can say she's in a bit of a rut. Now, you know, with a track that goes up and down the field, but you know, a, 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 a cow should get out of a rut. Cow's so much bigger, you know, he's a strong animal. But anyway, he was dead when I went out this morning. So, I never felt him. All I know is he had a load of blood out of his back end, and you know, he, whatever happened, it, it, it wasn't. It caused him a little strife. He was blowed up. There we are. I've been on a bit of edge all afternoon, I'll tell you. But we don't want to hear bloody anthrax mentioned. Hello, this is Richard Plank speaking here. Hiya. Um, I've got a dead cow out here. And, um, well, the, well, I've had the, uh, Edward Sanders come to pick it up and he said he'd rather love to have it blood tested. blood sample now and he said the minute he gets back to surgery you test it and within five minutes after testing it I'll give you the result. Hello? Yeah, she's clear. Thank God. Then the vets the vets took the sample, went back and he took he took a he tested it and he rung me back about half an hour ago and said it's clear. Well hemlock or it was he got in that he got in that rut he said the only thing the vet said is if he got in that rut and he and he started bloating or Edward said it was Edward said it. Oh, I can't remember Edward said it you know and then he started blowing up and that was it but anyway thank god he ain't got anthrax mate
Yeah, that would have been it. That would have been. I should have packed a lot of it. That, that mate. Oh, it would have been. It would have been terrible. No. No, so we ain't got to worry about it. So anyway, that's that's the, that's the most important thing. All right then. Okay, mate. Cheers then. Right. Oh, cheers then. Thanks, mate. Bye then. Bye. 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 bye, bye. When I decided to give up, well, the boys were able to take the farm on. And yeah, in a way, I suppose I've got to be careful that I don't come selfish. It's, it's a hard word to say because for me to think that I can keep going is doing what I'm doing now. Mm. And I don't want to think that, well, that's the end of you, Richard, now, mm -hmm. you know, just humble up and die away. And that'd be it. Well, I don't want to do that. Of course, I bloody don't. So therefore, I'm, I'm still want to be active and do what. Of course, the boys say, "Well, Dad, you'll be active if you pack the cows up because we should, get, you know, I should do calves and what have you and do everything else." So I wouldn't actually be no different much from what I am now. But it's just the cows have been such a part of my life that actually saying, "Yeah, I'm going to give them up." It's just I can't bring myself to saying that. I know it's, you know, the, the, you know when you're young yourself, you think, you know, the bloody old man, he ought to be giving up and, and letting the youngsters do it. But when you are that person, it's not quite so easy, is it? Somewhere along the line, it'll just come to you one morning, you'll get up and think, yeah. I don't know, do I really want any more yeah, of this? Yeah, yeah. So, but as it is at the moment, you know, I'm happy what I'm doing, and like, you know, seeing all the grass there, that now, you know, that all gives me a buzz. I love it. You know, it's a part of the farming. I knew it was going to happen, and, 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 and Scotland the same, have said they're going to try independence again, because they were so completely supportive. Everyone said remain in, in Scotland, didn't they? Not good. I feel very low this morning about it all, Kevin. As I said to you before, the 24th was going to be a massive day. And boy, it's starting out like that before we even got through the day. Uh, my gem in the end voted in because he was just too indecisive. He said, you know, one thing or another. He thought him and Charlotte decided they'd vote in. Robin voted in. So we did our bit towards trying to get them back in. But what a speech from Cameron this morning. What a speech. I was hoping he wasn't going to say he was going, but there you are. Best Prime Minister we've had since Buddy Churchill, I put him. And 
You know, we, whatever happened there. I don't know. Really don't know. Not good news, Deb. Dear, oh dear. So what do we do then, Kevin? Feed the cattle. Feed the cattle and just go on. Is that what we got to do? Which we have. We have. We've just got to... We've got to sort of wipe it over our heads now and, and, and just get on with life, haven't we? This is where we hope where we're changing again, Kevin, going back to something instead of what we've had in the last week. And and, and I hate to say it, I hate to say it. <laughs> that is farming. One minute, you know, and then this, when you see someone like this, suddenly brightens you up again. And the marking on that's beautiful. That's he looks see a Belgian blue. been named the British Blue for the last it must be four or five uh -huh. years. I still go on the Belgian Blue, it's just me, but it just, just seems like that's what it is, a Belgian Blue. Oh, you got a Belgian Blue? Oh, they're good. And, but of course it's not now, it's called a British Blue. I, uh, <laughs> my legs ache. Partying yesterday completely. Partying? Doing what? Oh, I went down and I had that lovely do at Mike and Min's yesterday. Uh. They had their 40th wedding anniversary. So I um, went down and had a lovely lunch down there, dinner time. And uh, did a bit of boogieing in the afternoon. And my legs today, Kev. It's not good news. They look good from here. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lovely time. And, but, oh boy. It does make my legs ache this morning. So, here we are starting a new day, Kevin. I've got to scrub down because I haven't scrubbed down from last night. Because I went partying. I was going to start about 8 o'clock last night and I had one, two glasses of wine and uh, legs aching. When I come back I sat in the chair and I thought, oh I'm going to rest for a few hours before I go out and I rested and I rested and I rested and I thought Richard it's no good. You don't feel no better than you did three hours ago and you've got to go and milk those cows. 